I'm Larry Bartlett, and this is Iteration 1 of the Arctic Paratrooper Sled, complete with an expedition harness, two breakdown fiberglass pulk poles, and a cargo bag to store two rucks. This 24-inch wide sled roll is 54 inches long and weighs 4 pounds. These fiberglass poles are another 4 pounds. The expedition harness weighs 24 ounces and the cargo bag weighs less than that. This 1 16th inch UHMW plastic allows the flexibility to create these lobster tail bow corners which provide an appropriate interface with the snow in motion. Iteration 1 has an 18 inch hole width and 3 inch sidewall height. The waist belt or spine for the sled is that 1 inch nylon webbing around the middle perimeter which envelops the sled's midriff and pulls the load from the rear when secured properly to the operator. This blue cargo bag is a working proof of theory but is expected to secure and contain a fully packed Molly 4000 and parachute bag. Delivery of this MVP will include a tighter version of this bag in white PVC coated nylon to include all feedback from the beneficiary. Quick release straps connect across the cargo bag to complete the sled assembly. This expedition harness was designed to be functionally minimalistic, low profile and strong. It has low temperature rated buckles and secures across the chest, at the adjustable weight belt, and straps that connect across each leg to properly anchor the harness to the operator. The pulp poles are cut to 24 inch sections and screw together with color coded stainless steel couplings. The operator must ensure these connections are hand tightened and checked occasionally to prevent pole damage or disassembly. The pole end should be crossed to create an X-shaped pole assembly. The roller joint with carabiner is easily attached to the sled. The Velcro fasteners are crucial to anchor the cross pole assembly. This configuration provides the operator with greater control over the sled's reaction to terrain features. The stainless steel pin and bearing joint connection are a no-brainer operation secured with a tractor pin on each side of the operator. Iteration 1 provides the airborne operator the means to safely and efficiently transport greater than 100 pounds of kit across any Arctic environment. These are design concepts to get your team on the paper when dialing in the most efficient and minimal sled equipment. I welcome feedback from you to help us shape the design features of the next iteration.